Hey man, welcome Facebook. Welcome everybody that is here today. It is good to be here. The Bible says it is good for brethren to dwell together in unity. Now look, we've already prayed. We're getting ready to, to uh, jump into the word of God and, and see what the Lord has to say today. I would say to you that are online on Facebook, you need to jump on here. Don't they need to jump on here, Sister Trina? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. On. It's It feels like it's the same on Facebook. It ain't the same. It's not. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. We Just your presence being here when you are in the, in the midst of where we are, then I believe that what the Holy Spirit does is he downloads specific things that you need specifically in your life in order to, to, uh, to touch you in a totally different way. So I'm inviting you to come on. Come on, I believe Pastor Wynette, she'll put the link on the in the little in the comments so that way you can come on and jump on. It don't cost you nothing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let's jump into the word. I want yeah. you to go with me to Romans chapter 16, verse 17. Romans 16 and 17. Hopefully, you all learned something last time. Hopefully, the word of God uh, uh, touched you. Really, hopefully you you understand the importance of the unadulterated word of God. Amen. Removing all filters. I don't want no filters. I don't want I don't want you to look cute. I want you to <laughs> I want you to have a word. If you're getting ready to go into surgery and the doctor come in and your doctor say if it's a, a young lady or or even a young man say if it's a young lady and she got her hair did and her nails is on i guess they call it fleek i don't know what that means but it's on fleek the eyelashes is batting and this and you know she got the the, the new big old eyelashes you know the velvet <laughs> looking one when you got a new eye here she got the long nails on. oh she killing it she dressed she in and she's about to do surgery uh, doc i need you to change clothes I don't want some of those eyelashes falling inside of my chest if you're doing heart, over heart surgery. Amen, I, I need amen. you to not have nails on. I need you to be able to get down and dirty. That's what we want with the word. I don't want it to be dressed up. Amen. I don't want it to be uh, put together in a good package and sound so beautiful and eloquent. I'd rather do it like Paul. Paul said, my speech and my preaching when I came to you, was not with enticing words of men's wisdom, but was in demonstration mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit and of power. I want to see something. Amen. Yes. So Amen. if you all are there, Romans 16 and 17, read that for me, Sister Trina. Watch this, y'all. It says, now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. And what? and avoid them avoid them stop right there i was i was getting ready you know I, I, the lord said to me like two or three days right after the, the the thursday meeting he said it's a denomination domination hmm. he said it is a denomination Dominic. domination <laughs> write that down i don't know if you want to call it a text I, I, or a sermon or a subject but that's what's happening today it is a denomination domination Right now, today, it is in, in Pacific Standard Time. It's 12.09 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where I am right now. All over the state, all over the world, you have all of the body of Christ separate themselves. Amen. To meet in the name of the one and true living God. It's one God. Yep. But they want to separate themselves and be at odds, at division with one another, and then turn around and say that you're worshiping the one true God. And the Bible says that is a falsehood. Now I'm going to bring up something on the screen, and I want you to read this for me. This is the definition of denomination. Everybody should see that, right? Mm -hmm. All right, read that for me, Sister Trina. What does the, it say? Denomination, <laughs> a naming, act of giving a name to. From old French denomination, nominating, naming from Latin denominationem, mm -hmm. a calling by anything other than the proper name. Whoa, stop. Whoa. It's the calling, it's calling something by any other name than its wow. what? Proper name. Yes. The word literally means I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to put a name on it. Yes. <laughs> yes. God ain't with it. I know you might not want to hear it. Now, look, I was licensed 1985, October 1985, <laughs> New Bride Missionary Baptist Church, 
My father was the pastor, Reverend Eugene Guy. Yeah. Amen. Laying on hands, all that. We weren't regular Baptists, but we were still considered Baptists. But this is what I want you to say and un or understand. God is not in your denomination. That's right. God ain't never started a denomination. Show me in the Bible where he says, you guys are the Pentecostals. Show me in the word of God where he says, you are going to be the Baptist. Show me in the word of God where he says, you're going to be the oneness of the assemblies of God and the Pentecostal assemblies of the world. Show me in the word of God. Now, look, I told you I was going to tell you something that you were, might not like, but if you could just take the glasses off. But I was born again in the Baptist church. No, you were born again where you were. It didn't matter if you were on the street corner, a uh, 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 prostituting, the Lord was going to find you there. It didn't matter if you was in a, a, a crack house, smoking cocaine and doing crack. The Lord was going to find. Matter of fact, the Bible says before the world was even created, he, he, he chose me before the foundation of the world. I was selected. I don't know about you believers, but I was selected before it was even any of it was even put together. So don't say that he needed this building and this denomination to save me. He saved me in spite of. Spite of. Amen. Glory Hallelujah. to the name of the Lord. Yes. It's the act of, look at, read it, read uh, uh, Romans 16 again. What did he say? 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions. Mark and, them. Yes. And offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. And avoid them. And what? Avoid them. Avoid it. Division. What what, mm -hmm. what church you belong to? What exactly. the church? <laughs> I belong to the church of Jesus Christ, the, of Latter-day Saints. I, I didn't, there ain't no Latter-day Saints in the Bible. <laughs> That's something some human being came up with. Joseph Smith out there in the cave in New York going crazy under demonic influence talking about, oh, here's the Book of Mormon. But the Bible says in Revelation, any man add unto this book. Or take away from this book, his name shall be. Man. Oh man, do you hear what I'm yes, yes. the Lamb's book of life and the plagues of this book will be added unto him? The Bible says, mark them. Mm -hmm. When you see them begin to name drop, mark them. Oh man, I know I'm saying mm. something good. It's, I know y'all yes. can't say nothing, but if you could, you'd be still <laughs> quiet as a church. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because we don't yes. we don't like that. We want our divisions. You're not Amen. like me, brother. Baptist, you don't speak in tongues as the spirit is given utterance. Hmm. So I don't want any dealings with you. Well, brother, why don't you help me understand it in the word of God yes. that I may be filled with the Holy Ghost? I believe that God will fill a Baptist just like he'll fill a Catholic. He'll mm -hmm. fill a Catholic just like I, you ain't hearing what I'm saying, believer. He's saying if you're moving contrary to the doctrine. Mm -hmm. The doctrine of the word of God, you can write this down, is oneness, unity. Now, when I say oneness, the first thing you're going to think of is, is he talking about the oneness Pentecostals? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, <laughs> I ain't never read that in the scripture, but I have read the where the word of God says, the Lord, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. <laughs> he is one, one God. Hallelujah. Yes. And one yes. mediator between God and man, the man, Jesus Christ, meaning he would use the body to be the veil in which mankind can get access to the one God. How could God be so powerful that he could be in heaven sitting upon the throne and also be on the cross looking yes. to himself saying, Father, into thy hands. I uh, can my uh, spirit. Uh, uh, this is the powerful God who is outside of our three dimensional time and outside of our three dimensional space you. where you and I, mm -hmm. one plus one is two, but in heaven, it don't work like that. Glory uh, to the name of the Lord. Uh, I believe David said, if I make my bed in hell, Lord, you are there mm -hmm. from everlasting. You're not just in every place. You're in every time. Woo. Glory Lord. to God. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes. How do I know this? Watch this, Sister Trina. How do I know God is in every time? Because Jesus, when speaking to the Pharisees, he said unto them, they said, they said, we be children of Abraham. And Jesus said unto them, before Abraham was, 
Uh -huh. I am. I am. <laughs> that means even though I'm talking to you right now in this time, I'm actually standing there next to Abraham when he's getting ready to offer his son. Son, yes. At the exact same, Jesus was on the cross standing next to you while you were getting saved. <laughs> while Jesus was on the cross, he was already coming back for a church without spot or ring. This is the real God. Yes. God of unity and oneness. And today, we separated. Amen. Watch this. Keep reading verse 18, and then we're going to keep it going. I got hype. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ. They don't do what? They don't serve our Lord Jesus Christ. Who do they serve? But their own belly. Oh, <laughs> their own belly. Yep. You know that, you know when you, you feed your baby too much, they come in with that little big old belly. I'm gonna say your baby because when you eat, it don't happen to you, right? <laughs> your belly don't stick out when you eat. I don't know, maybe mine do, but not yours. Your neighbor's belly stick out. But you know when you didn't eat past what you were supposed to eat? Mm -hmm. Greedy. Yes. This is why young ministers, when you are coming up in today's system of of so-called church organization, God gives you a vision to begin to do things and to do things in ministry, but there's no room for you to do it. Yes. So what do the young ministers do? They just pop up and keep starting more churches, mm -hmm. keep reproducing. And I'm gonna teach you over the next several weeks, whenever the Lord tell me to do it, but we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what the original organization, mm -hmm. God never founded a building. Jesus never had a, a, a uh, uh, he never had Peter, James, or John lift up a hammer, hmm. pick up a hammer. He never told them to get a board. He never told them to do any of that. He told them to build the church, yes. which is human beings. So he said they're filling their own bellies and what? And by good words and fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple. Real good messages. <laughs> Sounds good. Yes. But it ain't good. Some of you all, the Lord said before I even got here, he said some of them were have been sitting in church in their church service and said something is missing. <laughs> something, mm -hmm. something, I know God is with us, but something is missing. The Lord mm -hmm. said it's me, not John Guy, but he said God says I'm missing because I never meant it to be the way it is. And the word of God says that in, in the time of man ignorance, God winked at it. Hmm. But now he commands all men everywhere to repent. In other words, he gave us space to do it like we wanted to do it all these years. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to still be with you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to still heal the sick through you. I'm going to still raise the dead through you. But now we are approaching the age mm -hmm. of the Antichrist. We are now approaching we are at the precipice where the world is teetering on the global financial collapse that precedes the fourth of mankind being eradicated, yes. Revelation chapter six. And once that happens, then out of that destruction of world war, the Antichrist, the son of destruction, perdition, the son of perdition, lawlessness and orderlessness and destruction, he shall rise to power and you won't be able to meet in those old buildings and you and those idols will have to come down it is believed by the the muslims islam that when the messiah their equivalent of the messiah comes the one thing that will be a symbol that it is the true messiah because they believe that jesus is coming back too i don't know if you knew that they call him isa Hmm. Islam calls him Isa, the prophet, and they believe that God or Allah will send Isa, the prophet, back as the Messiah. And when he comes back, the first thing he's going to do is enter into the churches and to begin to kill the false Christians. Hmm. This is what they believe. But what they don't know is that word that, they, that Muhammad got was a word from Satan because the Antichrist is going to come saying he is Christ. Yes, he is the Messiah. And the first thing he's going to do is enter into the church buildings and begin to eradicate believers. And the no. Lord is saying, believers, the time is now to transform. But they're Amen. holding on to their idols. 
I had this dream, y'all. I'm going to say it to you. And I'm going to move to my next scripture. I had this dream, and I didn't know I was going to speak this at the time. This was two weeks ago. I saw some a brother. He was he had a collar. He had his collar on. He was he was in his uh, 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 ministerial garments, right? As as it's so called, right? He's he's sitting there. He came to me. He said, "What you're saying is the truth. It's time." He said, "I'm going to take my church and submit it unto you." Come on, brother. I said, "You know what we teach." You going to really, you all ready for this? We mm -hmm. ready. Come on, brother. I know it's the truth. I see it. I know it. And then when we got to the place, we saw the facility and we said, we're going to shift things. We're going to make this where we can project or, 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 or use it almost like a studio in order to get the word out to all of the believers in all of the parts of the world as they mm -hmm. begin to establish the churches in their region. This is what we're going to do. And the people in the church said, huh? who are you? He had never told them mm. in this dream that we were coming. And when I woke up, I looked at him and said, brother, well, in the dream, I said, brother, he said, I don't know. What are you talking about? I never said that. So when I woke up, I said, Lord, what is it? He says, there are those who are in the church who know mm -hmm. what you're saying is from me, but they're too afraid. Mm -hmm. They're afraid of the people's faces. They're afraid to give up their idols. Mm -hmm. And because of that, they'll promise you one thing in private. Mm -hmm. But in public, they'll deny that the word of God is true. I said, well, Lord, what do I keep doing? What do I, what should I do? And you know what he brought to my mind? He said, Pre keep preaching. Yeah. Be in season and out of season. Nice. If they don't come, they'll see the truth. Amen. <laughs> One mm -hmm. way or another, they'll either see the truth at the barrel of a gun or they'll see the truth with their hands up unto the Lord saying, worthy is the lamb. Either mm -hmm. way, you preach the word. Glory to God. Amen. I believe in the God Amen. is going to send preachers. He's going to send people who are just going to be after building the believers, mm -hmm. building the people, saving the people. people. Man, I can't wait to see people who just got saved, baptizing people in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of, oh, glory to the name of the Lord. Yes, and I'm yes. believing that he's going to do it. He's raising them up. But before he raises you up, you must let go of your idols. Yes. Look, I'm saying it as one who had to do it himself. Mm -hmm. When you look at this, if you say someone that came from a traditional church background, I came from the age when you became a minister, they gave you two things. They gave you a Bible and they gave you a hymnal. And they said, good luck. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> how, you got to figure out this Bible. You better learn these hymns. That's all you need, brother. Look, you, you don't get no ministerial training. You don't get none of that. We, we giving you the Bible and we giving you a hymnal and saying, go for what you know. So I had to dig myself and learn it on my own. But the Lord is saying, now, son, I'm shaking things mm. and you can see it in the world. But who will see? Who will see? To whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Mm -hmm. Is it you? All right, let's keep going. Watch this. First Corinthians chapter one, verse 10. Denominations are dominating. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians chapter one, verse 10. Let me say this too. Non-denominational is a denomination too. <laughs> All right. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now you I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing. The same thing. And that there be no divisions among you. Uh huh. But that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Wow. You got, wait a minute. Read that one more time. Now I beseech you, brethren, uh -huh. by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the name of who? Our Lord Jesus Christ. So Paul is speaking. He ain't speaking on his own. Mm -mm. I'm beseeching you in the name of our Lord. He's your Lord. He's our Lord. That you do what? that you all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Is that what you see today in your city? <laughs> no, no, it's you gotta, not. You ain't got to answer me. You ain't <laughs> got to answer that. Just think about it. Is that what you're seeing today? My Lord. 
Now, verse 11, what did he say? For it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe, uh -huh. that there are contentions among you. So what, what? before we get ready to read, he's getting ready to outline what is opposite of being of the same mind, the same thing, perfectly joined together. Mm -hmm. and, and he's going to outline what contentions are in the church. He ain't talking about sister sister uh, lowdown is mad at reverend such and such mm -hmm. and deacon do you wrong and messed around and stole some money out the pot that that's bad too but that's not what he's talking about look mm -hmm. at the next scripture reader what does he say now this i say that every one of you saith i am a paul and i of apollos and i of cephas and i of christ we should all just be saying i'm of christ don't come to me name dropping. <laughs> Who am I? Oh, yeah, you got to come. Man, whew, Prophet John, God, don't give me that much glory. That's right. Glory and honor, dominion and power be unto you who sits on the throne and unto the lamb forever and ever. Now don't get it twisted. I know the word of God says that because of the labor in the word that I'm worthy of double honor from those who I serve to, but I'm not Jesus Christ. And the church is not built upon Jonathan guy, because if it was all God would all Satan would have to do is take me out. <laughs> so don't come to me talking about, look, I'm of Paul. Look, my spiritual parents, our, my wife and I, our spiritual parents is Apostle Ernest and, and, and Prophet is Barbara Taylor. We love them to death. But I don't come to you in the name of <laughs> Apostle Pro, uh, and Prophet is Taylor. I come to you in the name of the Lord, Jesus yes. the Christ. And this is what they teach. They teach us that, look, we your spiritual parents, but we don't lord over you. We don't dominate you. We don't control you. We encourage you. We cover you in prayer. We mm -hmm. oh man, y'all not hearing what I'm saying. Yes. We live in the age of name dropping. Mm -hmm. Who's your pastor? Mm -hmm. This is is this kind of hard? No, <laughs> it's not hard. No. The Lord said. When you see this, avoid them. Mm -hmm. But some are still holding on despite the Lord already saying to you, this is not right. Right. But this is all I know, Lord. And you know what the Lord did for us? Glory to the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. He gave you an opportunity to be a part of something that ain't nothing like that. Right. I said, Lord. Why would you have me to do it like this? Why we can't be called Kingdom Ambassadors Church? The Lord said, I already founded the church. <laughs> Glory <laughs> to the name of the Lord. You don't need to. But Lord, I need to plant a church. No, 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 son. Don't you know that my word says that upon this rock, yes. I shall build my church and yes. the gates of hell, the gates of hell might prevail yes. against your church. No. Ish. Yeah. Huh. But it will never prevail against the church of Jesus Christ. Yes, Glory amen, to God. Amen. But Lord, what are we doing? He says, look, don't worry about it. I'm going to get to it. Let me not jump ahead. Let me not jump ahead. But you see me, <laughs> I'm on 10. I'm not of Paul. I'm not of Eugene Guy. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm literally from Eugene Guy. <laughs> <laughs> me and Sister Jerese, we, my Sister Jerese, we literally from Eugene Guy. That was our real daddy. But in the <laughs> spirit, I was born of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Woo! Man, after I was filled with his spirit, he got on the inside and started to transform me. When my daddy and my mother gave birth to me, I came out full of sin. But when I was born yes. again, glory to God. Can I get somebody to give me a yes, word? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. you can't say yes, nothing, but can I yes. see some? Words? Let me look at it real quick. See y'all. I see you, Jocelyn. I see you, Sister Peterson. Go ahead. <laughs> look, right? Glory to God. So the Lord is saying the contentions the thing that God has a problem with is number one, we're separate. Mm -hmm. We we are going to show you in a minute that the problem with the separation is names. It's names. How do I know that? He just said, some of you all say, I am of who? Mm -hmm. That's a name. Uh, yep. The nomination is when you call something, something different 
and other than the proper name it was given in the first place. Amen. The name that God gave to <laughs> us believers is the word or name church. The name church was never given to a facility. The name church was never given to a, oh, these, these are, we're our own separate church. It's just church. The only other synonym for the synonyms for the word church is believers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Glory to God. Matter of Amen. fact, you can write this down. The word church in Greek is ekklesia. And it literally means called out ones. <laughs> Man, I, that makes me want to shout. I was called out. I was chosen before the foundation of the world. And as many as he chose them he called <laughs> Woo. matter of fact let's say it like this to them that he he chose he predestined mm -hmm. he set it up for me to get saved and then right at the point when he was ready to save me he did what he called me something felt like it was pulling me mm -hmm. <laughs> and at six years old i got up from my chair and made my way down to the altar now i praise god that there was a building i praise god that my there was an altar but now the Lord is saying, I don't need buildings or altars made mm -hmm. by hands. Mm -hmm. I want to save people in their houses. Yes. Hear me. God wants to see souls being saved in your house. But it is reported unto us from those of the house of Cleo. That's what it said. And that what it said. Mm -hmm. the house That's of what it Cleo, said. That there's contentions. They're separating themselves, Paul. We're at the beginning of the church. And they're already, let's do it like this. I'm of Church of God in Christ. I'm of Missionary Baptist. I'm from Full Gospel Baptist. So wait a minute, they not even get, no, I'm of, uh, 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 what is it called? Uh, I don't even, it's so many, Free Will Baptist. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> you, you got free will, we all got free will. But no, we free will, and no, we're, we're uh, 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 and, and don't forget about I'm one that's Pentecostal. I'm P A W Pentecostals Assemblies of the World, hmm. and then you got another group. They're one that's believe the same thing, but they're just white, and they mm -hmm. black. Church of God is white, and Church of God in Christ is black. They believe the exact same thing. Their doctrines are exactly the same. They both got saved through the Azusa Street revival, and yet and still, I'm of Paul. I'm a Bishop Mason. I'm a Methodist. What? Amen. It's an abomination. Do y'all hear what yes. I'm saying? Amen. What's this? God is against you naming your church. Woo! Let's <laughs> take him there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Matthew 17 and 4. Oh, man. <laughs> there you go. I hope I'll see y'all next time. Hopefully y'all come back. <laughs> I hope I see y'all. Matthew 17. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. We go instead of four, let's look at uh let's look at look at look at one on down to four. Read that for me. Watch this, y'all. Matthew okay. 17, chap, chapter 17, verses one through four. Actually, we're gonna look at verse five too. Go ahead. All right. And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother and bringeth them up into an high mountain apart, uh -huh. and was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. Uh -huh. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with him. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. Uh -huh. What should we do? If thou wilt, let us make here the three tabernacles. Wait a minute. Yep. Let us make here three tabernacles. What? No, wait, so read that again. He said, if, if you will, Lord. If thou you, wilt, let uh -huh. us make here three tabernacles. One for thee. Jesus. And one for, that's and Jesus. One for, one for Jesus. Yeah. He, that's Jesus is the Lord that transfigured himself. One for Jesus. What's the next and, one? And one for Moses. Uh-huh. And one for Elias. And what happened? While he yet spake, while he was speaking, glory, <laughs> while yes. he was talking, God Behold. didn't even let him finish his sentence. Yeah, while he was talking, what did he say? A bright cloud overshadowed them. 
<laughs> and behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved son. Who's my beloved son? Well, please. This is Jesus. God's beloved son. Yes. Jesus is the one. Don't build three tabernacles. Tabernacle for who? <laughs> We gonna call what we gonna call it Moses Tabernacle, <laughs> Elijah Tabernacle, First Tabernacle, G First Tabernacle of G. God said, "Wait a minute, hold on." And what I love about it is the Bible says that God didn't just speak from heaven; He caused a cloud to cover over them. Why did He do this? Because when God had Moses to dedicate the First Tabernacle, a cloud came up. Oh, me ain't hear me. A cloud covered it. And this is when God filled the tabernacle yes. with the Holy Ghost, with the glory cloud, mm -hmm. symbolizing this is the place where God would dwell. Mm -hmm. And God overshadowed him and says, I dwell in my son. <laughs> I don't, I like Elijah, but he's not enough. Mm -hmm. I like Moses, but he's not enough. I love your bishop, but he ain't enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love prophet guy. I really love prophet guy. He's a very, I, I love him. If don't nobody else love him. <laughs> I, Jonathan, God love him, but he is not enough. But let me tell you, he who is enough, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Yes. Why are we separating ourselves? Why are we separating ourselves? Yes. They don't want to stop this. And when I say they, I mean my brothers and sisters. You can build something to yourself where you are getting honored like never before. Mm -hmm. There are pastors who go and preach. They receive an honorarium, $50,000 to come and speak. And then there's been times where they have been given Rolls Royces and, and Mercedes Benz. Is in, and this is a seed unto you. Well, we appreciate the seed, brother. But why don't you save some of that money? <laughs> Glory to God. And use it to feed the poor. If you want to help me, get pay for me some plane tickets to go over to Africa. I don't need first class. They're going to the same place. I can stay in, I can stay in a coach. I can stay in low class. I can be in that little uh, a stewardess seat right by the toilet. You know the one that flipped down. Yeah. Nobody sit on. You can, as long as my plane get there, can you get me, can you fly me over to Detroit so we can, we got some saints that need to be baptized. Baptized, in the, yes. Do you hear what I'm saying? Can you give me a ticket to Chicago or give me a, I need to go there. There's believers who has been faithful and now are growing in faith. And now we need to build mm. them and appoint elders over the. No, mm. I need $27 million for a private jet. Mm. Preacher said that I know God told the angels, write it down. <laughs> when he stands before me, that's coming up. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. You took $27 million. You live in one of the poorest parts of the city. That $27 million you could have built housing projects that are beautiful yes. parks you could have took 27 people and transformed their lives here's a million dollars go and prosper hmm. but no you need a jet and i need fruit and vegetables and steak while i'm driving jesus walked to carry the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh man, we are living in these days, but I'm believing believers by the spirit of God. He is going to raise up people who don't care about their names, mm -hmm. who don't care if you have a beautiful anniversary for them or if you mm -hmm. have a beautiful, there's nothing wrong with an anniversary because if you want to give me one, I'll be, that'd be nice. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I like to be there and be like, you know, everyone's, there's nothing wrong with it, but they don't care about it. When they talk to you, they're not worried about if you gave your tithes. Yes. Woo! My Lord. Oh, man. I'm believing it's going to happen. Y'all ready? Yes. Are y'all getting anything out of this? Yes. All right. So, look. Let's look at why this is happening. Go to Revelation 21 and 7. And we're going we're gonna to be done by 1 o'clock. <laughs> Pastor, if you can keep me on that time, you don't look too confident that I'm going to do that. <laughs> but we're going to get out of here quick. We're not going to stay long. Amen. Amen. Revelation 21 and 7. Read that for me. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. 
Some things. All things. All things, uh-huh. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Want me to go uh -huh. on? Keep going. But the fearful. But and the um, what? The fearful. Comma. Paul's and, right there. Right. The fearful. That word is timid. Mm -hmm. It's the same word that the Bible says that God has not given us the spirit of fear. That same word, it literally means timidity, being timid. I know what to do, but I pause. Mm -hmm. I, I stop. I'm, I'm, I'm indecisive. I'm lukewarm. <laughs> That's what lukewarm is. You just won't take hot or you won't cold. You want it right in the what? In the the middle. middle. And in the middle is no progress. That's why Jesus hates lukewarm. If I'm on fire, the fire is going to propel me to keep getting hotter. If I'm cold, I'll, I'm going to keep getting colder. But if I'm in the middle, I'm neither one. I'm nebulous. I'm in between. I'm mm. stuck. I'm useless mm. to the kingdom of God. I'm not, I'm not winning any souls. I'm not losing them either. I'm not making them leave, but I'm not winning any souls. Mm -hmm. I know the Lord said, come out from among this. And I know what I'm supposed to do, but I'm afraid to do it because I don't see any other alternative. My Lord. But God specializes in that. Abraham, go to a country that I will show you. <laughs> Lord, where is this country at? That ain't none of your business. <laughs> Lord, where, when am I going to get there? Don't worry about it. Matter of fact, the Bible says in Hebrew, Hebrews that Mo that uh, Abraham not Moses Abraham died in faith never seeing the promised land he never even saw it but the Lord said go and he obeyed mm -hmm. so the fearful keep going and unbelieving uh-huh and the abominable uh-huh and murderers uh-huh and whoremongers keep going and sorcerers and idolaters, and all liars. Some liars. All liars. Uh huh. Shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. The second death. Hmm. We all agree, liars should have their part in the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. Are y'all with me? Yes. The person saying idolatry, yes. Mm -hmm. A sorcerer, sorcery, oh yeah. Most people don't know that that word sorcerer there is pharma pharmacia, pharmaceutical is the root word for. So it's talking about drugs too. <laughs> oh wait a minute, Lord, but weed ain't weed is from the earth. It's the abuse of it. Mm. Pharmacia, this is you putting yourself under a spell. You're high, and mm -hmm. the Bible says they're gonna have their part in the lake that burn with fire. We with murderers going and abominable people, but fearful. Yep. Mm. yep. I do not want to stand in front of God and for God to look at me and say, son, I told you to do this. And you were too afraid to make a move. My Lord. I told you to leave this particular sin alone, but you wouldn't do what you needed to do to be free. Mm. Well, what do I need? I was, but Lord, I was, I'm, I'm, I was addicted to crack. I couldn't shake it. Check yourself into a rehab. <laughs> but Lord, how is that? I'll use the rehab to detox you from that stuff. I freed you already. Your brain don't know you free. Hmm. And you keep going back to that, which is an abomination. And because you were too timid to make a move, the Lord is saying, it's time. Hear me. I'm not just saying this to say it. I'm not saying this to get you to... Uh, Join Kingdom Ambassadors uh, Global Network, huh, Pastor Juanette? That's almost like a joke, a running joke. Good join? <laughs> how did you join? If you were here, how did you join? What thing you did you sign? Did you shake my hand? <laughs> <laughs> Glory to the name of the Lord. We are the church. You don't join a church. What you talking about? The church <laughs> is not a club. That's right. You were born into the church. By, matter of fact, you're baptized into the church bible says by one spirit where well, we all made to be baptized into one body yeah. and that one body is the church of jesus christ 
But you say, wait a minute, I'm, the, I'm a member of a church. You know, you say church is real. Church. I'm a member of a church. The Bible says that we are one body having many members. The Bible ain't talking about members like a club. <laughs> it's the members of a body. My mm -hmm. finger is a member of my body. My eye is the member of a body. My neck, he's saying that you are a part of the body of Christ. So let me just break it down for you what I'm saying. I'm saying to you simply, the system is wrong. So what I'm going to do is show you what the biblical mm -hmm. system is. I can't show you it all today, but I'm gonna give you a prelude and let you kind of kind of grab on it. So when we go to a, a Thursday, you'll really be able to do it. I'm gonna show you in depth. I'm gonna show you that every time in the word of God that the word church is mentioned, the word church mm -hmm. is mentioned. It was talking about people, or it was talking about people in a city, like all of the people in the city, or if in that city, those some of those believers met in someone's home. I'm gonna also show you that every time the word of God said churches, he was always talking about a region with multiple cities in it. So the seven churches of Asia, that's in the book of Revelation. Well, what, what Asia are you talking about? He's not talking about Asia like it is today. Back in the day, it was called Asia Minor. And in Asia Minor, there was a city called Ephesus. That's where we get the book of Ephesians. That's why when you open up to the book of Ephesians, the first thing Paul says to the church Mm -hmm. <laughs> in Ephesus, he's talking about all of the believers. There is no scripture where God ever looked at one city and said, all of the multiple churches in that city, there's one church in this city. Mm. But what we've done today is we have separated within the city. So now you have multiple churches and which one is God's church? Mm. That's what I'm trying to say. So if we could tear down our idols and us as brothers and sisters and pastors and teachers could come together, do you know, now look, I, I'm young, but I've been in ministry a long time, which means I've been privy to messages and conversations that most people have not seen that would make most people leave the church. I'm just, if I wasn't saved, I, always tell, I would have been left. The stuff that I saw was when you get ready to see two pastors bring their, their membership together, the level of distrust among them mm. is sickening. And the Lord is saying the time is at hand mm -hmm. where you are busy fighting one another. Satan is coming in. There's a storm coming. I think the old folks used to say there's a storm out on the ocean. And is moving this way. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you'll surely drift away. How are you going to be anchored in Jesus when you can't even connect with your own brother and sister? That's right. Y'all hear me? Yes. So God is saying, I am proposing an alternative. The mission of the church is to make disciples, to save souls. When you begin, watch me, and this is where the church, especially in America, has begun to die off is when you begin to try to build your church, it defies the mission of God. <laughs> yeah. Number one, I can teach you that God is the only one that can add to the church. <laughs> he adds to the church daily as he sees fit. But what I'm saying is, is this, when you have a group of believers that are now trying to build their altar, Come on, I need more members of KAGN. Come on, you need. we need some ambassadors. Oh, yeah, we need more ambassadors. Let me tell you this right now. If every single one of you left, and it was just me and my wife, I'd be on here talking just as hype. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she knows I would. I'd be on here talking, yeah, ain't God said, whoa. Because it don't matter. I'm. It don't matter. God don't need, I was getting ready to just plant. I said, Lord, we're going to start another church. He said, I don't need another one. 
<laughs> another one. That's what the rapper say. He say another one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> another I, mean, one. I was like, why he keep saying that? I was listening to the song on the on the TV. He keeps saying another one. I was like, another. God don't need another. He only wants one. He wants us to be unified. Do you hear me? But they won't do it. And the hour is coming where you got to make a choice. Are you going to build the kingdom of God and see God add to the church? Let me show, let me say it to you like this. And see, we online right now. I don't really want to go in depth, but this is what I mean. Right now, there should be believers in just say in in in. We're gonna use Tennessee, my sister. She's looking right at me on this screen. I can see her right now. She's in Tennessee. She gets saved. She starts to talk to her friend. Her friends say, I, 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 I want to be saved. I, I, you've been sending me these videos. I keep watching them. I want to be saved. Come on, we're going we're gonna to help you. But she's new. Just say she's new. She, mm -hmm. I, I don't know anything. I, it's okay, sis. We're going to keep. I'm going to start. Bring them on. Bring them on. They get more friends saved. Then we fly out. And baptize them in the name of Jesus Christ. Now they keep going. And now they keep reaching more friends and reaching more friends. Then we start building a, 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 a not annual, but every so often, maybe, maybe every month, coming out to Tennessee and holding huge services together, worshiping God, worshiping God, praising God, right? But they're new. They're new. They're new. But we're still building them. And we're still building them. And mm -hmm. then one day the Lord begins to show some who rise up as being elders who are rooted. They are no longer new babes anymore. Mm -hmm. And now I don't got to fly out to baptize them. They're already, <laughs> they've learned how to baptize. And yeah. then we do what? We're going to do it just like Paul said. Paul says, and I sit forth my own son, Timothy, to ordain elders in Crete. I'm going to ordain elders now in the city of Tennessee. And they keep growing and growing. Well, who's the pastor of the church? There are many pastors. Mm -hmm. God have given pastors and a prophets and a po yes to the city. Yes. We want the city. If I build a building, I'm immediately saying to God, no more. We can't fit anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you hear mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's a waste of money. Lord, I built this building. It can seat 200 people. Lord, don't give me more than 200. <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, Right there in Tennessee is the potential to reach millions. Yes. And nobody's name is on it. <laughs> they might have listened to me preach it the first time, but somebody else in their group later on might not have ever heard me speak. But the same gospel. Yes. That's why, oh man, I'm, I feel this thing. I feel it in my spirit. This was the intent of the church. Watch this. I'm going to take y'all somewhere. Glory to God. Go to Acts chapter 2. And then we're going to get out of here. Because I got six minutes. And I'm doing good. <laughs> this was the intent. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm going to... No, I ain't going to unmute everybody. All right. Chapter 2. No, let's look at... Okay, look at verse chapter 2, verse 4, and then we're going to jump down to verse 7. Read verse 4. Actually, read 4 through on down. Just start there. Okay. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost hmm. and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. That's right. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews devout men out of every nation under heaven out of some nations un under out heaven. of every nation under heaven meaning it, it, they obviously didn't have nobody no native americans from the united states they talking about the known world <laughs> all right so the, all the jews came into jerusalem for a feast called the feast of pentecost it was that day that god chose to give his holy spirit to 120 disciples all right. Mm -hmm. So when God does it, they begin to speak the, the 120. When they fill with the Holy Ghost, they begin to speak with tongues. And when they did it, there were people there that heard this. And what happened? Verse six. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together 
and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. Uh -huh. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? Uh -huh. And how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born. So they were Jews, but they were in different, they were born in different countries. Mm -hmm. Some of you all are, they call us African-Americans, meaning our people are from Africa, but we were born in America. I thought I was from, I thought I was a Michigander, but they told me <laughs> I was an African-American. I just recently went to Africa. I had never been there before, but my origin of my birth was from Africa. Do you get, of my heritage is from Africa. So these mm -hmm. were Jews, their origin was from Jerusalem, Israel, but they were living where at in verse 10? Uh Phrygia. Uh-huh. And Pamphylia. Uh-huh. And Egypt. Egypt. They was in Africa. Yes, it is. And in the parts of Libya about Cyrene. Uh-huh. And strangers of Rome, Jews, and proselytes. Uh-huh. Cretes and Arabians. We do them, we do hear them speak in our tongues, the wonderful works of God. All right, stop right there. Now go to the to the uh uh bottom, and I want you to look at oh uh, man, I, it's almost impossible for me not to read 38. <laughs> <laughs> just in my spirit to read 38. You gotta read that, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just keep it going. So he preached to them. In verse 41, what happened to these same people? What happened? Then they, they that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. So 3,000 souls got saved. Mm -hmm. Go back up to verse 9. 3,000 souls got saved from the, from the Parthenians, from the Medes, from the, yep. from the right? Amalite. Yep. The Mesopotamians, the Judeans, the Cappadocians, the Pontians, or I don't even know how to say Asia, that, the Asians, yep. all these places, Egypt, all, when they got saved, they all left after the feast and went back home. Mm -hmm. Who was their pastor? <laughs> Listen to me. These were the first Christians to get saved outside of the disciples of Jesus Christ. The 12 plus the 70 and a few others, which is 120. Other than them, these were the first believers to get saved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. None of them lived in Jerusalem. They get saved in Jerusalem and they all go back to their cities and their countries. And there's the, y'all see what I'm saying? Amen. Who taught them the word? The Bible teaches us that all of the disciples eventually begin to continue in the apostles doctrine, the teachings, they were listening, but Peter didn't live in Egypt. Oh man, I'm showing y'all something. <laughs> look, let's look at us right now. Now, now look, I ain't blasting you. If you go to somebody else's church, don't get mad at me. I'm not talking about you. I'm just talking about those who are apart, all right? <laughs> Let me clear that up so don't nobody go back and get me in trouble. I'm just talking to you who maybe are apart. You got people in Detroit and people in Tennessee and people in California. and pe I ain't there with you, but I ain't got to be there with you, right. glory to God. <laughs> this is what the church don't realize. When the church started, they were virtual. They were virtual. They just didn't have no technology. Woo! Glory to God. But look, God still added to the church yes, daily. Did. Watch this. None of those new believers had a Bible. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Did y'all hear what I just yes. said to you? They were, I just got to say, they didn't have a book. They didn't have access to Isaiah and Malachi and Genesis and Ephesus had not been, Ephesians had not been written yet. So watch me. God now raises up another outside of the 12. Man, I wish I could go in deep depth, depth with this. Judas hung himself being killed, leaving the disciples at 11. The Bible says that before the Holy Ghost was given, the disciples chose 
Matthias. They just chose him. They didn't ask God. Matter of fact, they cast lots, almost like rolling dice. All right, Matthias, you one of the 12. But the Bible says that Paul says, I was one that was born out of time. I should have been walking with Jesus. Glory to God. Woo, I want to shout. I feel the Holy Ghost where I'm at right now. I don't know about you. I should have been on the seashore with him, but I was born outside of season. I was born outside of the time. Glory to God. Look, I don't want to liken myself to Paul, but sometimes I feel like that. I was called to preach too early. I was six. I was a little baby. Mm. Why am I up here with these grown men? The Lord said, don't worry about it, son. There's a time appointed for you to do my will. Mm -hmm. Glory to the name of the Lord. God raises up Paul. Shaul was his name. And he changed, changed him to Paulus. He was a Jew, but a Roman. He was a man that should have been stuck in his religion, but he was traveled. And God says, I want you to go on missionary journeys. Mm -hmm. And I want you to begin to send letters to the believers that were already there. Yeah. Matter of fact, the Roman church wasn't even started by Paul. It was started by a no-name person. We don't even know who started it. But God used him to go and establish the real church. Paul never built a building. And what I'm saying to you today is this. The time has come where things are about to change. Hear me. Something in the Bible called the law of first mention. The law of first mention is, and, and uh, biblical scholars will tell you this, the law of first mention is simply when God says something the first time, he puts all of the nature of that thing in it. Give you an example. When the, when the disciples were first filled with the Holy Ghost in Acts chapter 2, he talks about them speaking in tongues and a mighty rushing wind. He gives detail, cloven, divided tongues like fire sitting upon them. But later on, you get to the fourth and fifth chapter. It says they were filled with the Holy Ghost and they praise God. He didn't talk about them speaking with tongues, even though they did. Mm -hmm. When you get filled with the Holy Ghost, you're going to speak with tongues, but he didn't need to say it because he already said it in the law of first mention. When God first created and made his church, he made it where it was literally uh, uh, um, persecution proof. Mm. They were on the outskirts. They had to meet in secret. <laughs> they, were, they were hard and tough as nails. Bible, a uh, uh, history, history teaches us that Nero, the, the Caesar of Rome, would take believers and impel them. Hmm. Listen to me, as graphic as it is, he would impel them with a stake through their rectum and out of the top of their base of their neck and put them on huge poles. And he would cover them in pitch and oil and set them on fire that they would light the way to his garden. Hmm. Do you hear what I'm <laughs> He would set them on fire. Hmm. First of all, he did it that way so they wouldn't die right away. Hmm. They're sitting there on their... And he cover them in oil and then... And he goes to his garden with his wives. Hello, everyone. As, as 15 and 16 and 17 Christians are up on poles, on pitch, on fire, with a stake going through their body, they were persecuted. And today, we have the nerve to believe that because the state say we need to hold off on meeting, that we're being persecuted. What yeah. happened to the church? <laughs> Woo. Look. When they start shooting, what will we do? That's right. I'm believing that what, what we will do is we will revert back to the way that we were. Mm -hmm. Where the church of Jesus Christ numbered themselves in souls and not joining members. Mm -hmm. But some, I had a brother say to me, man, we had seven people join the church today. The angels in heaven ain't rejoice over that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Glory to God. That ain't what the Bible say. Right. The word of God says that the angels in heaven rejoice over one soul that repents. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Glory to God. They joined the church. They could join a sinner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was, look, I was sinning on Saturday and now I'm sinning at a part of your church. God <laughs> wants them saved. Yes. Glory to God. That's all I got. Questions. Look, I don't care how bad the questions are. If you want to challenge me on it, please do so. I want to hear you. Amen. Let me open it up for y'all. You can unmute yourselves right now. Go ahead. I don't I don't have a question, but I just want to say hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> Glory yeah. to your name, Lord God. We bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord. We lift you up, God. We give you glory and honor and praise. <laughs> yes. Glory to God. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Amen. 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 I got a uh, kind of comment there. So, you know, when we when we talk about, you know, going back to, you know, kind of reverting back to the way that the church was originally founded. Um, well, let me change that. I don't think we're going to revert back to what we were. Yeah. We're going. It's like they let me explain what I, I'm glad you said this, Brother Chris. Let me just say this before you ask. What I'm saying is, it's it's even like the human body. When the human body is is attacked to the point of extinction, it reverts back to its original state, which is a cell. <laughs> right? That's the strongest part of the body. But it does not mean that when you revert back to that, you are the same. I'm talking about the toughness of it, the strength of it, the durability of the church. We're going to be different. We're in a different time. We got technology. We got. We don't have to write letters. I was telling my my uh, brother. I said, if Paul lived today, he wouldn't. Have, we wouldn't have never got a book of Ephesians. He would have did it on Zoom. <laughs> right. That's what he was doing. He was sending a message. To, to, I'm going to come to you soon. Bring the parchment. Right. That I sent. This is what he's communicating with the churches virtually. So go ahead. Ask your question. Uh, I, you you go ahead. You hit it. So all, all I was going to say is, is, is exactly what you said, is that we uh, don't focus so much on saying uh, the, the way we meet is going to have to change. What, what, when we talk about going back, what it is, is, is understanding uh, uh, that we're going to have to change the way we worship God. We have to change the way we, we view ourselves. We're going to have to understand our authority. We're going to have to be able to hear yeah. from the Holy Spirit. We're going to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to have to pool our resources so that we might be able yeah. to survive, right? Things like that, right? So it's, it's not necessarily just talking about the, 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 you know, coming out of a building and staying home and, you know, that, that sort of thing. It's, it's, it's everything in, rela in relation to that. We're going to build. I don't know about everybody else. I can't speak about everybody else. Our ministry is not called church. <laughs> called Kingdom Ambassadors Global Network. We're a <laughs> network of believers of the church in different. <laughs> now, when you first start, you might have to be like right now, we got everybody got to be in their home. Technically, I mean, you don't got to, but right now you probably should be a little bit. But as we begin to grow, win souls. Yes. And grow. And we're going to come, we're going to have huge services. I didn't say God is against services, prayer services and worship service, but I think he tired of the old monotony. Look, yeah. today we got to do two scriptures. Yeah. The Old Testament reading, the New Testament reading. We're going to get up. How about today we seek the Lord? How about we pray? I remember, look at this. I remember this man, Bishop Murphy used to have us going. I, I loved it. He would get up there and we would just pray. And he would say, come on, believers, begin to pray for this. And they'll be praying, praying. All of us allowed at once. And then he would switch the topic. Come on, begin to pray for the unborn children that be, and we begin to pray. Man, I would love to do that. The Lord is saying, take the limits off. The real reality of church is you're supposed to be preaching. Mm -hmm. In the streets. Yes. And when I say preaching in the streets, I'm not talking about, turn with me. Mm. Hey, everybody. Uh, <laughs> can y'all hear me? <laughs> turn with me to Jeremiah, the 55th chapter. He's not talking about, he's talking about tell your friends about Jesus. Right. And after they get told about Jesus, tell them the blueprint. What is the blueprint? Acts 2.38. Okay. Repent, therefore, mm -hmm. and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, Baptists shouldn't be saying this. <laughs> but guess what? I ain't no Baptist. 
I was one, but I ain't one. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm taking the limits off. Glory to God. So that's the blueprint. Do that. And then we will establish groups. But mm. skip the buildings like that. We don't want to be held down. Uh-uh. We got more to be saved. There's more to be saved. Yes. Look, the time is at hand. You build it like it's long term. The time is at hand. Yes. Even a believer that don't believe in what I'm saying about the end times, they know Jesus is soon to return. Yeah. How many souls are lost? How many souls in your family are lost? You know how many times? Look at this. Do you know that for years I had a name, the names of all of the members of my family that I could think of that wasn't saved? And I would sit here and cry and weep and pray that they would be saved. Mm. Every day, save me, Lord, save me. I'm believing every single joker on that list. I'm going to be like this, in Jesus' name. And if I can't get to him, Cousin June is in, she can, and if, uh, if they in Tennessee, Jerry's down there, she can, and in Jesus' name, go ahead and go forth and conquer. Amen. Any other questions? Let's keep okay. it going. If y'all don't got none, I understand. But if you got some, I want to hear you. Real quick, I just want to say, you know how sometimes when you say you got uh, a time limit and you're saying, every time you preach, you're saying, oh, well, uh, I got three more minutes. Could you please just do what you do? <laughs> Amen. I do that for myself. I don't do that for anybody else. I do that for myself. Amen. Okay. But I'll be like, no, I'm just keeping because me and you talked about that. We talked about how people always do that with churches and be like, I got this time. And we used to, when you when we say we used to go to church back in the day, we'd be in church all day. Yeah. From yeah. sun up to sun down. So yeah. what's the problem? <laughs> people, they be like, oh, well, uh, hour up. you preaching too long. What's preaching too long? Yeah, it ain't no, well, you can't preach too long. Paul okay. preached so long, a dude fell out the window, <laughs> broke his neck. He had to raise him from the dead. That's in the Bible. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to, I ain't going to be able to raise you necessarily, but touch you right now. But look at this. Let me say this to you. Family. I don't want to see you on Zoom like this. Lord of God. Amen. I'd have caught a couple of y'all. Amen. Praise the Lord. But yeah, I understand what you're saying. Glory to God. Listen, I was reading John this morning. And um, I was thinking about those, you know, John the Baptist says, oh, hey, there he is. There's the Lamb of God walking, you know. You did. And so two of his disciples decided, two of John's disciples decided to follow Jesus. <laughs> and they just called him two. But then he says, and then they went back and they got Simon Peter. And when <laughs> Simon Peter walked up, Jesus says, oh. You, I know who you are. <laughs> and, and, and so it's sort of like that. I mean, and, and it was almost like, you know, and they said in the, those two disciples stayed with Jesus that night. He just mm. kept moving. You follow me. That's that. Right. That was that was that was that. That was I mean, and it's kind of like that's what I was thinking. I'm I'm thinking I'm getting ready to call myself a follower of Christ. Hey. Don't ask me what my, what my religion is. I am right. a I'm following Christ. You want to come? Come on. That's the way. That's, <laughs> that's right. And look, <laughs> if somebody want to put a name to the only name that God, that Jesus ever used to refer to all of us is one word, kingdom. Kingdom. Hmm. Jesus came from that point <laughs> forward, preaching, repent. For the <laughs> kingdom of God is at hand. Watch this. And see, I can't go into my next part. I want to go so bad into Thursday, so bad. You know what, you Skip? Do it. the trailer. It is what it is. Let me give you a little bit of this. So look, when Jesus came the first time, before he came, he sent God sent John the Baptist. Right. Now he wasn't a member of the Baptist church. They called him the Baptist because the word Baptist means to dip. Baptismo. Baptizo. It means to dip. Right. So he was dipping people in water. The Bible says he was baptizing them for the remission of sins, for repentance, for the remission of sins, mm, yes. preparing their heart for Jesus to come the first time. Yes. Now we await Jesus to come the second time. 
And God has given us the same mission, for he said to have them to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission, removal of sins. And then they'll receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So look, he wanted us, he wanted John to prepare the way of the first coming. He wants you and I to prepare the way for his second coming. Yes, yes. But we busy talking about which, what usher board number two doing. We, bu we busy talking about, I'm mad at such and such. He won't let me in the senior choir. I'm mad at her because she didn't give her ties on time. Yes. Come on. He didn't say none of that. Yes. None of it. None of it. None of it. And look, I tithe. Yes, we do. But, yes. but that, ain't the, that ain't the key to the kingdom of God. No. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. So look, I'm finished. Amen. And, and, and that was a powerful term, a uh, uh, statement, Jerese, that that's what we're supposed to do. Matter of fact, Paul said it like this. He says, follow me as I follow Christ. That's what Paul said. As soon as I quit following Christ, follow me. Yeah. Yeah. get up out of there. We don't like to do that because I am of Paul. I am of my pastor. If I if I come on here talking about Jesus is not Lord, I leave myself. I shut off Zoom. Wait a minute, I can't shut myself. Right? I leave myself. <laughs> if you speak any other word than the doctrine that was preached, then he says anathema, meaning you are accursed. Yes. So I'm just gonna give it to you straight. Now, if you're watching and you looking at stuff and you're saying this is of the Lord, but that's not. This is of the Lord, and that's not. And you stay. You are at fault. Ooh. Because he told you. Now, I ain't telling you to come here. You ain't got to come here. I ain't telling you that. You can go somewhere else. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. So you don't think I got a motive. Oh, he trying to get us to join his little ministry. I ain't got no church building. So I ain't trying to get you to join our church building. I, if you don't never come back on again, the word of God stands true. Yes. Because yeah. hear me, when the, when the hour comes and it's already been happening, what you're going to find. And I said this to a couple of uh, believers before. Those particular type of ministers are going to be blind. Yes. Their stuff is going to happen. The, 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 this thing is this epidemic happening is, oh, my God. You didn't see? <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> Who's more prophetic than Jesus? No one. It's more prophetic than God. God is, was, and is to come. He sees everything. You telling me he didn't give you a hint? Yeah, come on. Right. He didn't tell me there was going to be a pandemic. I did not know that. But what he did say right before the year started, he said, this time when you meet with them, tell them Psalms 91, mm -hmm. that we are covered. Y'all remember, Jocelyn, come on. I need to hear those folks who was there. Y'all remember this. The Lord said, I don't know what's coming. This is what I said. I, I don't know what's that. coming in mm -hmm. 2020. But the Lord said, we are covered under the Psalms 91 blessing. And that scripture yep. says, no plague shall come nigh your dwelling. That's a pandemic, a sickness mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. a thousand shall fall mm -hmm. at your side, mm -hmm. 10,000 at your right hand, and yeah. it will not come nigh unto you. And it happened. Glory to God. So what is, what's next? What's next? That the, the blind leading. The blind. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. The Lord is saying it's time out. But this is what I want to say. Look, because I'm still on Facebook. Brother Pastor, I was <laughs> blind too. I was, <laughs> I was doing my own thing. I was, I was, yeah, this is what I was. I'm still saved. But I was just buying into, and the Lord says, Stop all that mess. I never said, what is in my word? And once I did that, the Lord started opening my eyes. This is what this means. This is what that, he'll do it. If he did it for me, he'll do it for you. God will take your, the, the, your church and make it his church. <laughs> Glory to God. And he mm. will take it and he will expand it beyond the borders of your four walls. I want every congregation in the world to be busting at this. I want millions of souls, billions of souls to be saved that have never known my name. And when you become that, that's when you become the real church of God. Right. But if you in there talking about, oh, I've heard it being said 
that you need to have my voice, the pastor's voice. Yeah, come on. <laughs> no, the word of God says, Jesus said, my sheep know my uh, voice. That's, that's right. And in another that's voice. Right. Yep. They will not. Come on. They won't listen. to. Don't listen to my voice unless you hear Jesus speaking through me. And I believe that some of y'all were sitting there today like, that can't be him. There ain't no way that's him. It ain't me. I don't preach this good. And it was good to me. I don't know if it was good. It was good to me. That's the word of God. Not me talking sweet, talking about, hey, uh, and look at and turn and flip it. You can do that, too, because my daddy used to tune up. He was sweet with it. Amen. But I just chose not to know anything among you. Right. It's an iPad, but it got the word on it. Jesus Christ <laughs> and him crucified. So, Father, in the matchless name of Jesus, I pray even right now for those who are watching me online, that they would obey your word and come out from among the divisiveness. For the hour is coming where Satan will bring more division. Your word says, matter of fact, Lord Jesus, you said it, that a kingdom divided against itself will come to desolation and a house divided against itself shall not stand. And we have been crumbling. We walk and stand alone and we fall simultaneously all over the planet. But Lord, I'm believing that you're raising up men and women of God who we do not know their names. They are not famous. They have no desire to give you uh, cloths blessed for money and, and water, the, a miracle water for, for, for a dime and $10 and a pledge of 100 that all they care about is our souls that they're not hirelings, but they are shepherds after your own heart that yeah. have been raised up, preachers that have been sitting down who have supposed to have been preaching the gospel all over the world, but they've been stuck, mm -hmm. stuck in a rut, couldn't do it, couldn't move, couldn't go, couldn't do anything, just stuck under the denomination mm -hmm. domination. Mm -hmm. But Father, it is being broken in the name of Jesus. Jeez. I don't know if it's being broken by COVID or will, mm -hmm. it, will it be the financial collapse but your church will stand. Our churches will fall, but your church <laughs> will stand. Matter of fact, you said that your kingdom has no end, that it will take over the kingdoms of this world and it shall become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. And we shall reign, not for a few days, but forever, Lord. And I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, look, I say to you, friends, if you're watching by Facebook, reach out to me. We're going to do more of this. When this virus is broken, I know me and Pastor, we're going to be on we're going to be on the road. Amen. If you want to sow seed, you can. If you don't, you don't. Amen. We're going we're gonna to make it anyway. Why? Because we trust God. But if you want to sow seed, this is some good, it's some good ground. And you know what we're going to use the seed for? Not to put any of it in my pocket, not to put any of it in our gas tank. We're going to take every single one of it and put it into books and into technology and into things that we can get the word of God to you better. That's all we're going to do. So look, Amen. we stand here waiting to hear from you. If you are ready, give me a call. Reach out to us inbox in Jesus name. God bless. Amen. And talk Amen. to you next time. Amen. Amen.